What's up, chat? All right, I need your guys' help. My shit's broken, and I don't know why. I need the I need the fucking brain trust. All right, so I have music playing right now. Try deleting system 32. Evan Yeezy, banning you forever. You're gone. Why would you do that? Um, just kidding. You're fine, but don't do that. Please help me. Um, okay. I don't know what's going on. I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. Um, audio is playing and I hear it. My output device is system TC Helion, as you can see there. If I go to my settings here, that is the correct thing I have on. Is there some setting I'm not seeing? Oh shit, the slider. Easy, thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry, that was stressful as fuck. I could not figure out what was going on. That's always the fucking obvious thing, too. I was like, I, I know this is correct. I know this is correct. I know this is correct. Thank you for bailing me out. What's up, everybody? It's Monday. I'm back. We're so back. Evan, I'm sorry I threatened to ban you, but I was trying to fix something and you literally giving me the advice to break my computer is a little frustrating. I love you, though. Um, thank you for the Prime. Turn volume down by 20%. Yeah, I'll work on that in a second. Shout out to Alvin Cook today. Yeah, dude. Jet's got a lot better today. It's so funny, dude. Everybody's reaction to like whenever the Jets do something good, people are always like, ah, washed. Ah, uh, he had over a thousand yards last year. Ah, paid too much. We paid a million dollars more than the Patriots did for Ezekiel Elliott. Ah, too many running backs. Wait, all right. The Jets got a fucking snag. That's for a cool 37 months with the king of expired game. yeah man that last night was crazy have you watched hard knocks yet the first episode the second episode doesn't come out till tomorrow uh, oh. still depends on the o-line yeah i mean the o-line looks pretty solid right now i'm, I'm not gonna lie it's it, it's just if they can stay healthy is really the question Hey, well, I have a genuine question. I've been going through an existential crisis lately, and I've been having trouble being motivated to do anything physical. So how do you stay motivated while depressed? I mean, that's really hard. Um, something physical? I mean, you just got to get to the gym. That's usually what I say is, like, just drive there, even if you don't want to be there. You're going to pick stuff up and put it down. Also, distract yourself while you're working out. Watch anime. That's what I always do when I'm doing cardio. Um, also, I think, like, you'll start to get cause and effect. Rave night was amazing. Where, like, um, my favorite moment. you will immediately feel better after a workout. And maybe that, like, gratification will immediately, like, start to register. Where you're like, okay, if I go to the gym, I'll feel better. Um, Australian Survivor tonight. That's right, baby. After everybody comes in. Um, yeah, I think that's like what I got to. And now I, now I, I feel bad if I don't go to the gym on a day. I'll be honest. I feel like shit if I don't go to the gym. And I like totally understand that. Been loving your MDI reactions, Will. When you finish with that, another Aussie show that is similar to that is The Summit. It's like Survivor, but you have to hike to the top of a mountain. Ooh. That sounds good. 
Um, anime isn't quite socially acceptable enough to watch it in a gym, JK, but for real. I mean, I watch anime in the gym every single day. If you think someone watching anime on the elliptical is the weirdest thing that people will see in the gym today, I would love to know what fucking bastion of normalcy gym you go to. Because I see some fucking weird shit in the gym. No one even notices me watching anime on a fucking treadmill or elliptical. No one gives a shit. Um, Trump just went 10 for 10. I don't think we're topping that. Yeah, he got a... I did everything right and they indicted me. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. Um, Young Jayhawk, thank you for the prime. When is the first workout stream? Yeah, I was going to do it today, but then I... I, I had a ton I had to deal with today. Holy shit. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll try and get it sparked up next week. Uh, I'm going down to Austin, actually, this week to hang out with Seer and film some stuff. So uh, maybe we get one with him. Maybe we get a little uh, Maybe we get a little motherfucking uh, workout in with the, with the boy oh, yeah, Seer. Oh, that's for cool. 25, 25, that 25, green 25, stone. 25, 25, Thank you. 25. 25, 25, 25, 25. Um, and fuck some dads. Cool. From your lips to God's ears. Heard you had dinner with Kelly Rowland? Yeah, I did. It was crazy. We, we made small talk. We chit-chatted while we ate omakase sushi it was awesome oh, yeah, wow. it was incredible cool. she was so cool Wheel. she was so Don't nice me it'll be half watching while play baldur's gate nef bang nef bang sick yeah we're gonna get into some baldur's gate late tonight i had the probably one of the best dinners of my life last night um i went to uh scratch uh which is a sushi place that has some michelin stars and they're doing a pop-up at the four seasons where they've converted like one of the big bedrooms into like an omakase speakeasy that shit was good it was good uh did you see charlie left twitch what's your take moist left twitch where'd he go youtube kick um yeah, wow. That's no, he didn't. Currently prepping for my colonoscopy tomorrow. Free Black agent. Me distracted tonight while I graced He didn't the leave Twitch. Touch. He ended his contract. Oh, so he didn't leave Twitch. Ended exclusivity contract. I mean. Listen, until I talk to Charlie, there could be a number of reasons that happened, right? Did Charlie say why he ended his exclusivity? Did you see Your Rage Gaming got a $75 million kick deal? No, I didn't. I haven't been following any of this shit, really. That's crazy. Good for that, young man. That's generational wealth. That's generational wealth. Shut up, Will. Um, Good afternoon, D and D TikTok. I'm did here. Charlie say why he uh, ended his exclusivity? Wake speaks on the Jets. Guys or girls or What is Wake watching? Is he watching the old fucking Hard Knocks? All right, over eighteen. Yeah. What am I even looking at? Eighteen. Yep. Single. Guys or girls or cheerleaders? Didn't even think. You showed up to Comic Con in a New York Jets jersey and aviators? What are you a fan of? Cheerleaders. All right. Over 18? Yes. <laughs> Fucking cheerleaders, dude. What the fuck do you think, man? Oh my god. No, wait. I get it. I get it. No, 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 no. It's because, um,. The Jets fans are entirely a work of fiction. They don't actually ha. exist. Ha, 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 ha. It's similar to their chances of winning a Super Bowl, dude. Ha, 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 ha. Single? Yes. Guys or girls? Ladies. Ladies. Yeah. I, what, what, I don't even know what I'm looking at.
I, I, I'll be honest. I don't know why that guy is wearing oh, that's for a, cool a Sanchez jersey to Comic-Con either. For your that is a little strange. Choose, bro. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate you angry. Thoughts on the Dalvin Cook signing? I mean, what's, what's not to like, man? Uh, Aaron Rodgers took $36 million less so that they could go sign a player like that. Dalvin Cook's a good football player. One of the best running backs in the NFL right now. I'd say probably top 10 still. I mean, what's, what's not to like? Especially with all the running backs that haven't signed somewhere. <laughs> Eli Manning status. Peyton Manning is returning to the University of Tennessee to teach classes as a professor. The university announced Monday that the College of Communications and Information has appointed Manning a professor of uh, practice in the fall 2023. Uh, I mean, that's great. Cool. Good for Eli. Maybe I can teach you about comm. It is Eli. I mean, that guy has made a fucking boatload of money. Wake was watching Geek Love at Comic-Con. Geek Love. It was like a speed dating oh, thing yeah, at Comic Con, wow. and great. one guy decided to play cosplay Mark Sanchez. Interesting. Oh yeah, wow. Z Tomlin, thank you for the two months. Nar one YY, oh, thank yeah, you. Wow, that's for cool. Twenty one. Thoughts on the Michael Orr situation? The Michael Orr situation was oh, wow. cool. strange, bro. It was fucking strange. I'll be honest, the Michael Orr situation is strange. Uh, I lure you, Will Neff Norf. Thank you so much. That shit sucks. Well, what's really interesting is like, oh, yeah, well, I, well, when it happened, I watched the interview that he did on Jim Rome that everybody was quoting. And like, it's just strange. It's just the whole thing is just very strange in my opinion and i honestly don't know what to take at face value like it's it's a it's very strange for those of you who don't know michael orr is the star of a story called the blind side um oh, yeah, well, the blind side well, is a movie about with, with Sandra Bullock, where uh, wow, that's for a, a family cool. adopts uh, uh, an orphan from Memphis and um, raise him as he grows to become a amazing offensive lineman and uh, subsequently wins a Super Bowl with the Ravens and then would go on to appear in another Super Bowl uh, that he lost with the Panthers. Now, this movie was nominated for Best Picture the year it came out. Here's Sandra Bullock. Here's Michael Orr. Um, and uh, this movie made a ton of money. And it was kind of like a feel-good story. What has come out today is Michael Orr has now said in his book that he just released. Oh, thank you so much, Asanabi. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. Hasanabi, thank you so much. Raid, has raid, has raid. Thank you, 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 thank you. Oh, yeah, wow. Appreciate you. That's for cool. Back from a week of camp, um, ready to catch up with the king of late night. Oh, yeah, uh, wow. That's for cool. So Michael Orr has now said that this family never oh, formally cool. adopted him. Turn this story took blind um, oh, yeah, wow. That's for cool. And, uh... Oh yeah, wow, that's for cool. One year, let's go. They said that he never adopted, that he was never adopted by this family and that they took all the proceeds from the movie. Has raid. Um, and the royalties. Oh yeah, wow. That's and they adopted cool. him into a car crash. To, Thank the gods you are here to Jesus make Christ. Better. And they adopted him to basically take advantage of him. Uh, thank you, God Fear in Stoner. Um, thanks so much. But this story is so strange. Like, listen, 
Uh, I mean, obviously, I, I'm siding with Michael Orr because I don't think Michael Orr would lie about this. But I watched his interview on Jim Rome, and the interview on Jim Rome was enormously peculiar. Um, because he made some statements that were like contradictory. And so, so, the, so the first thing he said is he still wants to give that family credit and the other families that took him in credit, and he's very grateful to them. Um, the next thing he said, uh, was that he, the main thing that pissed him off about the blind side yeah, wow. was cool. that they, yeah, they depicted him as not being able to like be read when they took him in. And as I understand it, they took him in when he was like in second grade. Um, I, I'm not sure about that. Uh, oh yeah. Wow. That's very cool. Good evening, sir. Neffington. Uh, Have you watched the show hijack W Idris Elba? I love it. No. Okay. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. They adopted him at 14. They adopt, they, they took him in at 14 and then he signed the, the adoption documents at 18. Um, uh, it's, it's just a enormously strange story. Obviously the family has come out and denied everything. Uh, if it is true, what a fucking horrible thing to do to a child. Um, and I'm surprised Michael Orr didn't speak out sooner, um, against all this. Um, I thought it was 16. It says he was in, oh, yeah, wow. it says here he was in foster care for Crazy. four years. And he signed the documents at 18. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I was never big on this movie. I've never seen this movie. I just know it was nominated for a best picture. Um, it's just, it's just so strange. It's just so weird. It's just a weird story, Top. It makes me feel icky that this family would, like, adopt a kid for the sole purpose of, like, putting him in football and, like, making a, a film. They made us watch it during um, middle school. Yeah. Uh, and kept all this money. Yeah, I just... I wonder why, like, I, I am, I am fully siding with Michael Orr. I, I, did he ever say anything about this before now? It seems so strange that he wouldn't say anything. He did. When did he say something? He didn't find out until February. What do you mean he didn't find out until February? He didn't find out that they took all the money? From my understanding, he didn't know that he wasn't adopted. He didn't know it was a... Huh. Wow. Is he suing them? He's suing them, right? Oh, yeah, wow. That's very cool. A full year. Wow. That's crazy, bro. Because you know they tried to rationalize it. Well, who oh, yeah, it? wow. That's very cool. Cheers to another great month of content, Nafl. Let me see if it is. As I watched the Jim Ro uh, Rome interview today, and he really, yeah, I watched this interview. You know, when someone's going to tell you, your time's up. I watched this interview, and it was very tame. Perhaps a, a, an outside party has more details. All right, here we go. 
Did the attorneys tell you why Michael Orr filed this petition after all these years? Yeah, they did. And they said this has been kind of a long process for, for Michael Orr. Like going back to when the movie was made, um, Michael Orr always suspected that somebody was making money and, you know, and, and the family was making money on the film. But whenever he asked about it, he was deflected. He was he was told, talk to this person or talk to that person. And moreover, more to the point, he was beginning his NFL career once the movie hit. Oh, yeah, and wow, so he was making so cool. his own money. And, and he, you know, the, the, his thank you, Mr. Sideshop 13. I'm assuming, you know, being a football player. So he didn't really take the time to dig into it, even though this was a suspicion that he kind of harbored in the back of his mind. And it's something he didn't really pursue until his career ended in 2016. And can you characterize how difficult it was for Orr to- How the up? fuck did they make this movie without his permission? Dude, he's getting paid. If he never signed anything to give them permission, he's getting paid. I mean, his attorney says he really anguished about this thing. You know, he, you know, despite all of this that you that you read in the lawsuit, you know, he had a reservoir of respect for the Tuies, a, a reservoir of love, really, for them. You know, because his life had been so chaotic, and they did indeed. Um, Conservators, yeah, but does that get? Oh, yeah, wow. yeah I, I understand that they were his legal legal guardians, but d d does that give them the rights to his likeness and perpetuity? I, how does that work? Take him in, but he. Yes. Wow, that's crazy, he bro. He had to go forward because the sense of betrayal was just so strong. You know, but it was it was a tough decision for him because he was close to the family. Dude, there's the family with him on draft night. Wow. The attorney talks about, for example, uh, Michael um, buying SJ, the son, his first car and, and buying the daughter Collins, helping her launch her cookie business. So this is how close to this family he was. So to sort of take this step was something that he really, really anguished over and, you know, but decided. He had I wonder if the kids knew, bro. Because I bet they were close as shit. That's like their brother. I wonder if they, you know, that's so shitty. And has there been any response from the Tui family? No, and, and that's been disappointing. I've reached out to every number I can find for them because I, I think lot, me, like you know, everyone else, I'm curious to hear what they have to say for themselves after all of this. And they've built. Yeah, they did. They were getting ro The kids were getting royalties? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Kind of their whole kind of public reputation on the idea that they've adopted Michael Orr. And and now the story comes out, Michael Orr makes these allegations and, and they've been silent. Why were the kids getting royalties? Oh, here's you for former NFL player Michael Orr, the subject of the movie The Blind Side, is suing the Tui family. Orr says he lied about their familial status. Where is Orr talking for about this? Because the only interview I see with Orr is on Jim Rome, and he he barely talks about it. Wow. Well, I'm sure more will come out. Read the legal shit, my dude. No, fuck that. <laughs> I'm a dyslexic. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to watch paint dry. I got to fucking read a court filing. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Meyer. I was in Meyer the other day and picked up some Tingly Ted's hot sauce. That's Ed Sheeran's new hot sauce. And we're going to give that Edge. a try today and see if we can make a good sandwich around it. That will be up to the dice. Let's get things started with our Roll for Bread. Oh, yeah, wow. Jed drop, by the way. Thank you. Starting things off with some soft and sweet Hawaiian bread. So far, oh, so is not he always says this is hawaiian bread i want those little rolls you know what i mean i want hawaiian rolls so good next up let's roll for our main 10 left sag maui dude come on now you're just looking for shit to be sad about if someone says hawaiian bread and you're immediately like i know it's very sad but come on man the leftovers i have for today are 
pork barbecue ribs. We've gotten all our meat off the bone and warmed it up. And we're going to add it to our sandwich here. Okay, There's solid really sandwich so far. Soft, simple bread and barbecue meat. So far, this is a winning combination. Next up, let's roll for our cheese. Four, pesto gouda. This okay! Pesto gouda is similar to the picante gouda that I've had on the show recently. Wait, this, this sandwich might plate. actually and be this good. One's violently green. Despite all odds, he might it's actually make a good sandwich. Addition here. Maybe not the cheese I would have picked, but it should go all right. All right, let's roll for roughage. That looks Five disgusting. Pesto pickles. gouda? That sounds pretty good. All man. right, pickles and barbecue. I can deal with this. Pickled carrots aren't my favorite pickled vegetable, but there's huh. the worse things I could have rolled. And they do add some nice color and a decent crunch. Now, I am a big fan of pickled onions. Oh, yeah, they lose a lot true. of their bite. Facts. Take on a nice Thank you, old twig. While retaining most of their crunch. They should go really well with the barbecue pork. I have to oh, say, yeah, this wow, one's got potential. Hey, cool. you Dalker. Let's hit it with a little wild magic. Ooh. Or Sasson. Sasson is a Puerto Rican spice blend that contains salt, garlic, coriander, and annatto, among other spices. All right, last but not least, we've got an odd even roll for our tingly Teds. 15, <laughs> looks like we're going with the extra tingly. Uh, the hot sauce is a little bit on the sweeter side. Fucking tingly Teds. a vibe to it almost. Yeah, I guarantee you 100% my hot sauce is going to be better than Ed Sheeran's hot sauce. I don't think it'll be out of place on this sandwich, though. Should be pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Will Neff, more like won't Neff. Hashtag Caucasian. What in the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. That looks pretty good. All right, Mr. Sandwich, will I be in love with the taste of you? I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Oh yeah, that is a tasty sandwich. Yeah. Maybe grilling the whole thing would have been a little yep. bit better, melt that cheese. And I mean, yep. you would have picked a different cheese than the pesto cheese, but this is pretty good. That hot uh, big score over an eight hot sauce and the barbecue Gotta sauce be. and the meat go together. Well, I would have liked maybe some mayo in addition to that to give it a little bit more moisture. But all in all, it's a good sandwich. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.2. Oh, and I'm going to call it the faded. Thanks again to Meyer for sponsoring this video. I hope you have a great day. And I'll I love that he's a Meyer boy, dude. All my Michiganders go crazy when Meyer gets brought up. All right, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I gave 30 minutes for the regular crowd to shuffle in. Guys, I hope you are. Oh, there's a fucking ad. A king can't have too many crowns, Neff approve. A king. Um. Hope you all are having a good time. Uh, tonight, I am getting back into my premium content. Premium content. Uh, what is that, you ask? Well, I am going to be watching a show that we have quickly fallen in love with. Million Dollar Island. Man, is it good. Uh, it's basically like Survivor with all the fucking air cut out of it. Uh, except with 100 contestants. And we are like... On episode five, uh, and it has been a tremendous watch thus far. So without wasting too much of your time, uh, I'm going to get you into a little Reacciones Contento. Um, and then after that, we're going to be continuing the legendary Himbo Run. Texas Tornado. God fear, thank you. Thank you, Millennial 3. Thank you. Digi, thank you. I'm sorry to hear that Will Neff passed away from a self-sucking accident. Jesus fucking Christ, we've beaten this joke into the fucking grave. I swear to God. Um, okay. It's like I could leave the room to go piss and people be like, Well, suck his dick to death. All right, here we go. Um That's for a cool. Do 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 do. But it's not true? No. But what is true is your dad gagged on my hog. Um, all right, let's find the next episode of Million Dollar Island. Does anybody have that link? That'd be really cool. Or, uh, Haas, are you here? No Rain, are you here? Artists working mods in the bibs? Yeah, your dad died in a Will Neff sucking accident. <laughs> Mm, 
Zero modifications. Feels bad. All right. Episode five. Whoop. Oh, oh. I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. Yes. Chat, seriously, this needs to stop. The joke about self-suck isn't funny. It's old. <laughs> Anyways, how about that dino scene? True, dude. What in the fuck? Ugh, God, I can't find this fucking link, and my mods don't give a shit. Feels bad. Um, Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, wow, that's very cool. Um. Did you see they started development on the last Ronin game? I don't know what that is. Um. Haas is here! Thank God! Thank you, Jesus! What a fucking legend. What a fucking legend. This guy. Um, where's the... Wait. Is this the link? Oh, yeah, wow. That's very cool. Nafla. It kind of seems to not be working. Did you see... What is this? Wyoming began. Gingrich talking about Austin show for Dick because he was in a hospital recovery. All over <laughs> Thank you for that. It's always good to see uh, Austin show make the news. Um, uh, I don't know. 